It's Mike with Iceberg Gaming. There is yet another Vampire Survivors patch. This is 0.6.1, and we've got another secret character. I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock. So we are going to be showing you how to unlock Boon Mari Bio today. And so let's get started. We're going to go ahead. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the power-ups. Um, I Just get everything that you can. I think Curse might be necessary, so... Uh, if you do this without curse and you are unsuccessful, go ahead and get your curse and try again. Now we're going to start things off. We're going to take Red Death because he is super fast and very powerful. And we are going to need to move quickly here. So let's go ahead and confirm him. And we are going to go to the Mad Forest on Hyper Mode. Let's get started. So for our Arcanus, I think we are going to take Iron Blue Will since it will bounce the Death Spiral, which the Death starts with. So we'll go ahead and start with this. And right away, we're just going to book it down south to try to get to get to the Pulmonero, the Red Heart. We're not even going to really worry about experience too much. We're just going to move as fast as we can down south. Once we get to the Red Heart, we're going to go ahead and grab it. And then we are going to head back up north west to the Skull. And we're going to pick the Skull up off the ground. Now, I can't confirm this, but... I believe that you have to pick the items up off the ground. I don't think they count if you get them from level ups. And once we get to the skull, we're going to go ahead and pick it up. And now we're going to start looking for little uh, little things on the ground that look like this. People call them pies, but I think they look like mushrooms. And we're going to go ahead and grab them. They will heal us, and if we collect enough of them, it will spawn the secret boss. It is a black wizard looking type guy. So we are just going to try to get leveled up as quickly as possible and get as many pies as we can. Now the pies do heal you. So if you get in trouble, you can go ahead and grab a pie and it will heal you. And uh, the, the boss that we're going to fight is a little on the tough side. So make sure you are building a good build. If you have questions about builds, you can either ask them in the comment section or visit my YouTube channel. I have plenty of guides up on my channel. I have my beginner's bot guide, my complete guide, and I have a bunch of different builds that you can try as well. So check those out if you need help building a strong build to defeat this boss. Now I believe this boss doesn't spawn until after the 10 minute mark. So we're going to go ahead and pow power level up here and get as strong as we can before that. We're going to keep grabbing the pies. If you are feeling adventurous, it is probably a good idea to go and uh, get the other abilities off the map. Especially the, uh, the spinaches and the clovers would be a good idea. It has been my experience that the pies will start decreasing in frequency once you have collected about enough of them. So once you are starting to see less pies, get ready for a fight because this boss is a tough one. As you can see, I'm waiting to get this chest. I'm just sitting next to it. This is because you cannot evolve skills until after the 10 minute mark. So I am saving this up to evolve skills right away at the 10 minute mark. I'm gonna try to get a couple more chests to drop near it so I can quick evolve all my skills and then we'll be ready for our showdown with the boss. Now the pies are becoming less and less frequent and this is a little bit of a pain because I was kind of relying on them to heal me. So I'm going to have to start playing a little more careful now. And here the boss is. He's a little black wizard here. You can see him there. So we're going to go ahead and fight him. We're going to try to kite him around and stay alive here. We've got lots of other stuff going on on the screen. So let's focus in here and get this boss down. Once we kill him, we will hear the sound that indicates that we have succeeded that you guys should be familiar with if you've unlocked characters before. Now he seems to have a... Uh, I thought he had a ranged ability, but now I'm not seeing it, so I think I was wrong. So we're just going to kite him around and try to stay alive. And as you can see, he spawned at about 7 minutes for me. So if you've done... Oh yeah, he does have a range. There it is. He has a little uh, fireball type ability that you can just avoid. We're getting a little boxed in with all these enemies here.
Just keep letting your abilities clear paths for you and just keep running away. This boss has a lot of health, so it's going to take you a while to kill. I don't want any of this, those skills, so I'm going to go ahead and pass. The Song of Mana is good for clearing out enemies, but at this point it's going to be too weak to help with this boss, so we're going to skip it. I'm going to... I guess I'll take the Clover. We're just kiting this guy around. We're trying to keep him on the screen so that he takes the most damage possible. But we are... We don't have a very good build right now because it's so early in the in the game. So we're not doing a whole lot of damage to him. So we're going to have to kite him around until we can get him down. Things should get better for us once we hit the 10 minute mark and we are able to evolve our skills. So we just have to try to evolve survive until then we've got the tougher bats coming in so that's not helpful but we'll keep it going and uh, skip that also we don't want any of those this is a tough boss so make sure you are making liberal use of your skips banishes and rerolls make sure you are getting the best possible abilities for you I am trying to get Vandalier up and running, as well as I would like to evolve the Fire Wand. The Fire Wand seems to be one of the highest DPS abilities in the game. It often tops the charts for me, especially if you build around it with like bounces and stuff. I keep losing track of the little boss because he is uh, shadowy and hard to see. This is not an ideal situation with these plants and the boss chasing us here. So hopefully we'll be able to kite him around and or break through the plants. There's an escape. Alright, we have passed the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to start popping some chests and hopefully we'll get some evolutions. Not that time. Not today. Try to loop around here. They don't want me to. They're not cooperating. <laughs> Alright, we'll get the one up here. Okay. Once again, we have been thwarted, but that's okay. We'll just keep going. Alright, this one is open. We'll grab it. And grab this one, too. And there is our first evolution, the Heaven Sword. So that's going to help. And here he comes, so we'll try to keep him in our Heaven Sword here as much as we can. Whoop! Don't let him hit you, because he does a lot of damage. I got stuck on a, a thick there. Not ideal. If you get stuck, make sure you are following your abilities out of danger. Particularly the Heaven Sword and or the Axes. You, they can they go in predictable lines, so you can kind of follow them out. Health is getting a little low here, so we need to try to grab this chicken. There we go. There's another chicken and another chest. Hopefully this will give us an evolution. Okay, it's an Arcanist. That's our 11-minute Arcanist. All right, hopefully it is something good. Um, so we can get critical hits, which would be great. Or we can get Heart of Fire, which is always fun. Or Waltz of Pearls is definitely fun as well. Um, I think I'm going to go with Waltz of Pearls so that our Hellfire and our Sword will bounce. Uh, I don't see anything in here that I want, so we'll, uh, I'll take the Pulmonero. Try to save our skips for if we really need them.
make sure you avoid getting stuck on the things in this map. We will take the lightning ring since we have the duplicator. Nice level up there. Let's grab this and hopefully it will give us an evolution. There we go, Vandalier. All right, we are in business now. We still need a little bit of help if we can find it. We do have some pretty good regen going right now, but uh, not enough that it's going to save us. And we have now been fighting this boss for about five minutes. There's a time freeze that's helpful. Let's use it to grab this food. And let's use it to put some damage on this boss. Alright, we've recovered pretty much here. We're back up to mostly full health. Uh, but now we're in a little another top, tough spot here. It's a good thing we recovered that health, because we need it right now. Holy cow. So many werewolves. Here we go. Let's screen wipe them. Gave us a little bit of breathing room, not very much. Uh, we might die here for our first death. We have a revive to use. I didn't want to use it this early, but it is what it is. Gotta get through this werewolf wave, and then we'll be in better shape. Alright, we got the tougher bats coming in. Let's try to loop around and pick up all this experience. I don't want to get any more levels of the skull because we are already struggling. Alright, come on, something good. Nice. There is our Hellfire, so that will help. We are in a little bit of a tough spot here, though, right now. Grab this food. Alright, we got plants coming in once again. I think we're going to have to just bust through. Werewolf boss. Alright, we're doing a little bit better now. Here's the time freeze. Let's grab it. And let's go ahead and skip that. Let's grab this chest. This will evolve our thunder loop into the... Or the th lightning ring into the thunder loop. Very nice. So we now have all of our weapons evolved, and we have space for one more ability, uh, and we have no rerolls, so we're going to have to take one So here. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Santa Water. It is a very good ability. Poss probably not my first choice in this situation, but we had no other choice, so we took it. 
now we're going to be looking for the attract orb ability to and we got him there you hear the sound that means we did it so we are successful so now we can end this run at any time and we will have the new boss or new survivor Uh, so I think I am going to go ahead and end the run here. So we'll go ahead and let these guys kill us because I don't really need anything else from this run. Okay, so now we'll take a look at our end screen here. And uh, not too bad DPS there. All right, so let's take a look at our new character here. So let's go into start. And there he is, Boon Marabayo. Let's go ahead and unlock him. Looks like he starts with the Fan of Knives. Uh, that is the upgraded knife ability, which Gennaro starts with. And uh, he's kind of shadowy. Looks like he's a shadowy version of Gennaro. Let's go ahead and check him out. And we'll go to the Hy Hyper Library. Uh, yeah, we'll take the bounce for his ability. Oh, wow, it's so slow. <laughs> oh, it's so slow. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. That looks funny. So apparently he has um, a slow ability on all his attacks. That that opens up some interesting possibilities for builds. You could, uh, if you get more, if you get more slow, you can knock that down to so that they're standing still, maybe, and like set up like walls. Definitely sets up some interesting possibilities. But we'll pr play around with that in another video for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.